Santé. Santé. Yeah. What's up Puzzle Lovers and welcome to Bits and Pieces. My name is Michael and this is a new episode of a series called Apero With. This is the show where I have a casual chat with puzzle designers over Apero, the French tradition of having a drink and light snack before a meal. Today's guest is Rex Rosano Perez, a Filipino designer of laser cut acrylic puzzles since 2008. He's best known for his release the coin type puzzles like Walangalang, Rizal, Pussing25 and more. And today I have the pleasure to sit next our guest designer. Hello Rex, Hello. welcome to Apero with Rex Rosano Perez. First of all, thank you very much for accepting to share an Apero with me. How are you today? And have you heard of Apero before? I'm fine today so far. Yeah. <laughs> Quite nervous but I'm fine. That's it's good. My, it's my first time to do this thing, but I'm not a I'm not a first timer in drinking something. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. I hope you will enjoy uh, the food selection and the drink yeah. selection. Before we begin, let's talk about our apéro. So I have some French vinoiserie, oh. some uh, iced tea or pineapple drinks, since Philippines is very famous for their fruits, and also this uh, food that is shing. Shing. Shingaling. Shingaling. Yeah. Okay. I hope you enjoy. So I couldn't find any previous interview of you, Rex. So yeah. I might be the first one to interview yes. you. Yes? yes. So I am very honored for this first interview and I hope that everything will run smoothly and you will not feel too tense, too nervous, no worries. Uh, it's just questions to know more about you. What do you do outside of puzzling? What is your profession and how does it complement your Puzzling, if it does. Outside puzzling, professionally, I'm a radiologic technologist and a licensed radiologic technologist. But during the pandemic, I resigned from my work to focus on puzzling. Puzzling, <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. And designing because I'm quite stressed out with the pandemic setup in the hospital. Okay, yes, yes. Before we continue, do you want to drink anything, Rex? Because of glass of empty, so... What I would like... Maybe let's go with nasty. Ice. Yes, maybe this. This one? No. Oh, no, no. Nasty. nasty. Sorry. On ice. Because it, it has a cool feeling in your throat. Yes? It's my favorite. Oh, okay. <laughs> but good. That's good that I took this one then. So then I will try passion fruit. I'm injured while working on puzzles. Oh, too much, too much design too and much, making. Too much designing, too much lifting of heavy acrylics, and too much work on my hands. Ah, yeah, because you are just by yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. But my wife usually helps me with my boxing the puzzles, yes. writing the addresses. So usually it's her hand handwriting on the box. My handwriting is not that good. <laughs> Let's say it's because of injuries. You cannot. Yeah. Yeah. Really. yeah. It's, it's, I think it's been a week since this injury. Okay. So, I'm I'm not working too hard for the past two weeks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I am very busy with some other things, like like taking care of the dog. Mm. Yeah. The dog Bella. Yeah, the dog Bella. Yeah. We will, we will come to this one yeah. later. I don't think there is a large puzzle community in the Philippines. Uh, so how did yeah. you get into puzzling? There is not a, there's no big community for puzzling, but there's a big community for speed cubing. Speed Rubik's, cubing, yeah. Rubik's cube where I started maybe when I was, I think I'm in third year high school. Okay. 15 years old. And that made me to what I am right now. Okay. Because I, I was solving Rubik's Cube a lot that time and through time I got bored. I got bored with the Rubik's Cube. I'm not bored because I'm too good with it. <laughs> okay. I'm bored because of the solution. It was kind of... I'm feeling it is repetitive. Mm. So then, months later I started designing... No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not designing. I copied some Tony Fisher's 
designs like the Fisher Cube. Okay. It's where you you turn the Rubik's Cube 45 degrees, cut its or you cut its edges and the pieces you just cut, you glue them to the sides to make it to make it a turn to its cubic shape. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then the rest, the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> and so, were you doing speed cubing just by yourself, or did you go to actual competitions? And... I went to some competitions, but um, I wasn't good enough because okay. that time, until this day, kids are very good at speed cubing. Yeah. Even even they are below 10 years old. They're very fast. Yeah, yeah. Too yeah. fast for me, and I'm usually, I'm just there to make my record for the competition. Yeah. And then that's it. <laughs> no medals for me. <laughs> and so now that we are in 2022, uh, what is the puzzle community here in the Philippines? How do you think it will change from five to ten years from now? I hope so. It would be bigger than usual because. I have uh, there's I have some friends now that are into puzzling, but there's still very few of them. Mm. But right now there's some shops in, in Philippines, in Green Hills, run it. They sell some good Hanayama puzzles and some. I think it's I Adventure. Okay, yes. Uh, they're selling them, so I'm very happy they they are selling those copies right now. Because I don't have to pay the shipping from outside. <laughs> yeah. I just, yeah, I want that, yes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but it's always very nice when there is a puzzle shop yeah. in the area. There are very few in the world. It's very rare to find one. Yeah. So it's good that there is one. Especially here in Philippines. <laughs> yes, yes. And so did you try to approach them to say that if they can sell your puzzles or...? I have some plans. Uh, I was discussing some designs with them, but I still don't have the design that with with their shop because there's there's a team that they want but I'm still I'm now working on it okay and so um, you explained to us earlier that um, you started creating puzzles uh, starting from the Rubik's cube modifications yeah and then were you influenced by other designers when you started to make your acrylic puzzles um or was it just you thinking like, okay, I can make this kind, this type of puzzles, and let's go for it? What inspired me in modifying the Rubik's Cube 50 puzzles is, of course, Tony Fisher. And so also there's Tripum, maybe the Thailand, the one in Thailand. Sorry for if, if I'm saying your name wrong, <laughs> pronouncing your name wrong. They are, they are... They are the best in the world. I want to be. I, they inspired me, and the time I stopped in in designing these puzzles is when my hand also got injured. Okay. I had some rashes on my hands by sanding too much, mm. and that stopped me. And by that time, in the timeline, I'm also using burr tools in making packing puzzles. Okay. So I think let's maybe, let's move to acrylic. Then I designed some packing puzzles, maybe five to 10 designs, I don't know the exact, the exact numbers of the designs. But after a few years in designing packing puzzles, it seems like, again, I felt the feeling it's being too, Repetitive. Mm. You put there, you put this, pick yeah. the pieces. Then it was Miniyoki Oyumatsu. Yes. Mm. <laughs> and I bought some puzzles from him, I, th I think seven years ago. It's called the designed hard egg. Boiled egg coin. Okay. No, the white one in the yeah. acrylic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll and I don't know what's the name of the other one. It's the black puzzle. Black acrylic. But it was this small. And I think it's a triangle shape. And that inspired me designing my first design. Oh. SD puzzles. Rizal. Rizal, yes. Yeah. Oh, Rizal is your first one. 
Uh, next question then, Rex. Mm -hmm. What is your design process like? Design process is quite hard for me because sometimes it it just boom, it's there. I have something in my mind. I should I should have a drawing, a notebook. I should draw something like an abstract thing. Yeah. Then this is the mechanism I'm gonna use. I don't know what will be the solution. I don't know what will be the shape of it. I don't know what's what's gonna happen after this. I just have that design, and from there I go go home. Usually it happens outside, outside. Okay. And sometimes when I'm on trains, usually when I'm still working at the hospital, I use the local transportation. Some it, it just sometimes I have it just came. Out of nowhere, I should I should always have a pen or I usually now there's a cell phone, there's a drawing tool in this. Yeah. And then after when I have that design, I go home, then I work on it. Sometimes this 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 picture, this picture, this picture, I just put them. I combine them all. Then prototype number one. No. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. So do you get sometimes uh, some ideas from everyday mechanisms or...? Yeah, um, uh, that, that also happens to me, like there's a drawer at, uh, at the house, then it's stopped. Yeah. Then... I don't know what, why it's stopped. I'm, I'm, forcing, I'm, forcing it to, I'm forcing it to pull the drawer, but by inspecting it, there was a cord behind the drawer was like this and there was a cord inside oh. i'm pulling it stop so that 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 is some kind of example that i use uh, i'm now thinking to design now it's a spoiler oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a spoiler so i'm not doing this anymore <laughs> yes I, I usually get some ideas from everyday things everyday mechanisms in the house mm, yeah well, sometimes it can be quite uh, interesting to see how yeah. things work and are stuck by themselves and then you try to solve them in real life and apply them into mm -hmm. buzzing. And so, why did you choose acrylic as the main material for your puzzles? And do you plan on using different materials in the future? Or is there a material you would like to use more of? I chose acrylic because Years ago, I was chatting with Stanislav Nat, another puzzler. I, she's, he's a friend of mine in Facebook. We share ideas. I usually give my packing puzzle designs to him, a uh, file, a Corel file, so that he can judge. Because he, he, he is a uh, great puzzler. He can solve packing puzzles by just looking at the Corel files. Ooh. And then, that time, it was currency. I sent him a Berto file of it and my tray was not so good. Okay. He made some adjustments to it and then after a while he made a copy of it. So he used acrylic. That's how it started. I chose acrylic in making puzzles. Mm. And now I'm studying SolidWorks to maximize my 3D printers. I'm looking forward to designing more 3D dimensional, more of 3D, 3D rendering so that I can use more mechanisms and to make myself improve mm. in designing puzzles. Yeah. Yes, because there are a lot of 3D printed sequential discoveries right now and I, I, I also want to join the group. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So you already have a 3D printer where you... Yeah, I, uh, I have some 3D printers at home and right now they are working. Okay. <laughs> I left them right there. <laughs> and for my... I'm designing some... also designing burst, but it, has, it is a step... I think it's a step for me to design a sequential discovery okay okay yeah it's good that you want always to improve and that yeah. you will learn solid works to make more complex designs and um, 
I also want to decide to design my own twisty puzzle, but I think it's too hard for me right now. <laughs> And so when you design puzzles, do you focus more on the aesthetic or more the mechanisms? Yeah, I focus more on mechanism at first because I think simplicity is always the best. That is the best and sometimes, right now I'm putting more designs to it, like Invincible Oink, Bella, Uh, the zone I'm I'm using some engraves on the acrylic right now. And right now, the third eye is a, it has some aesthetic designs. Hmm. But at first I wasn't not into it. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> When you see Risa, Lapulaki, they're all in plain color. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, we can see the evolution of your puzzles. Yes. Uh, along the yes. years. That's great, that's great. And so, which of your puzzles is your favorite okay. and why? So, what puzzle? Sequential discovery or twisty puzzles? Any puzzles you design? Maybe it's Rizal. Rizal, yeah? yeah? It was the first. And it, 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 actually, it was a old design that I dug up on my old notebooks. And I think it's years ago, four years ago, I designed, okay. resi I designed Rizal and I was very happy for, for what it turned out. Mm. It is, it's, it's just an easy puzzle but it's very special for me because it was my first yeah. sequential discovery. Yeah, yes, always have this special place uh, of course. because it's the first Also one. Bella, I like Bella. Bella, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you enjoy doing in your free time? I think I saw on your social media that you read mangas. Yeah. What mangas do you do you read? So far, I read One Punch Man, but I'm not I'm not updated with them. I also read some old mangas like Dragon Ball. Yes, I like Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dragon Ball, the favorite of a lot of people, very really like. I think everywhere until now there's it's ongoing yes yes but I'm not, I'm not I'm not also updated with those I'm very busy with some I'm very busy with orders mm. the puzzles like designing yeah yeah I guess you need to find free time to, to yeah. read because some, so many because sometimes I feel like 24 hours is not enough for me yeah yeah <laughs> it can happen sometimes <laughs> yeah, when you are very busy You designed a puzzle inspired by your dog, Bella. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us more about your dog and how special this dog is for you? Bella is a Siberian Husky. It's a dog bought by my father's wife. And now Bella is living with us. And I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why she chose us. So. Bella is a very, very um, special dog for me because I think in Tagalog, in Tagalog she's very maarte. So what's what's maarte in um, it's maarte? Yeah, <laughs> she's a very choosy dog. She doesn't eat regular dog foods, but when you give her some human food. He ate it very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, Bella is still with us, and she she's like our our border because she sleeps under the bed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she likes it under the bed. <laughs> she's still very lively right. and energetic. <laughs> she likes balls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she like she like playing with balls. Mm. So I guess you bring her to the park very often to play with her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because she goes crazy with balls. Yeah. <laughs> so are you hiding all the balls in the, in your apartment? Sometimes, house? sometimes I hide the her toys so that she she can focus eating. <laughs> that that time I uh, was planning. What design should I do? What should I should I do? And Bella was on my side, 
Um, okay. You're gonna be a puzzle. No royalties for you. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. Just I, food. Yeah, just food. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing that, Rex. And so, as a pioneer, as a designer from the Philippines, uh, what do you want to be remembered for? How do you want to represent your country in the global puzzle community? Mm, that's quite hard. <laughs> uh, sometimes I want to be remembered as a... I don't know. I don't want to be remembered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing what I love at the end. Maybe I'm doing this for the art because I... I... I always think a puzzle is not just a toy or just not a thing, it's an art because there's an effort put into it. Maybe I think I want to be remembered as an artist. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. And so, what is your advice for aspiring puzzle designers? How can they make their puzzle stand out and how can they leave a mark? Maybe for. I should advise them. Um, they should always love what they do and enjoy what they do and always evolve always evolve yes that's very important otherwise you will be stuck and feel maybe uh, like you cannot express fully yourself if you don't mm -hmm. try to evolve like rex said well thank you rex for for this and before we end this interview i have just a few fun questions that you have to choose from Okay. No worries. First, pan de sal or pan de coco? Pan de coco. Pandan or ube? Ube. <laughs> <laughs> that was really direct. I guess you really enjoy that. I love ube. You love ube? Yeah. <laughs> ube is, for me, ube is great for everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Mindanao, Visayas or Luzon? Mindanao. Some hated it. Some... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was quite tricky. Uh, I remember this one. Twisty or Burt Puzzles? Twisty. <laughs> Dogs or cats? Dogs. City or province? City. But I live in the province. <laughs> I also like the province. Yeah. Puzzle designing or puzzle solving? Puzzle designing, I think. Because I enjoy more in designing because sometimes solving is quite frustrating. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it can be very challenging. So that's all. Thank you very much, Rex, for your yeah, time you and also. for coming here to share with us a lot of yourself and what is it like to be a puzzle designer in the Philippines. And once again, I hope you enjoy these little snacks and yeah. uh, I hope to see you very soon. Thank you, Rex, again and Santé and have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. I wish you a great day and all the best. And I say, bye, guy. Bye.